Hey, it's Emma, and today I'm showing you 10 different outfits that make me feel confident. Outfit number one is what I'm already wearing. So I thought this outfit was really cute and something that's pretty easily recreatable. Um, so that way you guys can do it too. And it's just what I've been wearing today. I found it really cute. So I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I filmed something. I'm sorry. Anyway, this t-shirt I got in the mail literally two days after I announced my college decision on Instagram. So I'm going to Lindenwood and I'm majoring in fashion business and entrepreneurship. And so I ordered this t-shirt. It just says property of Lindenwood University and then the year it was founded, which is 1827. Is that right? Yeah. I can't read upside down. Um, I like this t-shirt because it fits, it still shows my shape without being like, I think it's comfortable, so it's all you really need in a t-shirt, honestly. And I really like the faded look of the graphics. I think it just works better than like a bright yellow. And I paired it with my muted light lavender purple jeans. These are my favorite jeans right now. I have gained a little weight recently, so some of my jeans aren't fitting properly right now. But these jeans have always been a little oversized, so they're nice and baggy. There's room to move. Like, I can breathe in them. Which is always, always a good thing in pants. And yeah, I just cuffed the bottoms because they're a little bit of an awkward length. And like, if I'm wearing boots with them, you can't really tell, but I'm not. Because, segue to my shoes, I'm wearing my fake Burks. I got them two summers ago and wore them until they fell apart and got a second pair last summer. And now I'm using them as my house shoes because I'm doing online school. So what's the point of wearing real shoes unless it's for the internet? You know, that's the outfit of today. Okay, this outfit looks a little bit square, but if you tuck it in in the front and just kind of mess with it till it lies nice and pretty, then I think it looks a lot better and then it gives it a little bit of shape while still being nice and loose and comfortable so I'm not like self-conscious about like how my stomach looks when I sit or anything, which is, I don't need to be self-conscious about, but like, you know, sometimes our brains are stupid. We don't have to listen to them, but they are stupid sometimes. I have obviously tucked them into my tan wide leg pants that I thrifted. I think wide leg pants make my legs look really long, so that's part of why I like them so much, and I think the color just works pretty well for me. And I also paired it with my Mary Janes, because the Mary Janes kind of elevate the look a little. I think. You tell me if they do or not. I just. Sometimes I'll just pick shoes because they match the vibe. I don't know how to explain it other than they match the vibe. I have my little star necklace, and. My little dewdrop, vintage inspired earrings. Actually, they might be vintage, actually, because they were my mom's. She didn't wear them very often, so she gave them to me, and I don't know how long she's had them. So, they could be real vintage earrings. This is outfit number three, and I am aware that you guys saw it on my Instagram not that long ago. I used this to announce that I was going to Lindenwood, because as you can tell by the t-shirt and this, um, I'm very excited about it. This blazer just makes me feel amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear it to an interview I have next week, just because like, I feel like it's very professional, it's comfortable, it's cute, and it's cropped. So it hits all the C check marks. And then I'm also wearing the same jewelry, but plus a watch, because this outfit just feels smart. That's the only reason I wear a watch. Not to tell time. I have a phone for that. I never wear this sweater because I forget I have it, and then I'll be digging through my closet when I feel like I have nothing to wear, and this will show up, and I'll be like, yes. I've had it since, like, middle school, and somehow it still fits. I don't question it, but I'm wearing it now, and I paired it with these blue tie-dye sweatpants, which I know isn't super matchy-matchy, but I like a little bit of pattern mixing. I feel like the yellow and the blue go well together. This outfit is just comfy. Um, I really like the look of big pants, little shirt. I think it just looks good on me. I also really like the big shirt, little pants, as you will see later. And yeah, I mean, I think this works a little bit better than my last outfit. Like I'd be more comfortable in this outfit. Also, it's a little warm right now. It's supposed to rain later, so I know it's gonna get cold again. But right now it's kind of warm, so this would actually be more comfortable, and therefore the more comfy I am in an outfit, and the more comfortable I feel in that outfit, the more confident I am. So 
if I just need like a lazy day outfit, I would do something like this. This outfit, I feel like I look like an art teacher. In like the best way. These pants, I haven't pulled out in a little while, but they're kind of wrinkly. We're gonna ignore that. These shoes, I haven't pulled out in a while. They're nice little booties. I think they're very cute. Um, I say that a lot about my clothes. That's why I own them. I think they're cute. I need a better vocabulary. Okay. Anyway, this top I thrifted last fall, and I just, I leave these rolled up like in my closet because I never wear them down. I just think it looks better when they're rolled up. And I always wear it open just because otherwise it just bag. Sorry if you hear thumping, that's my cat going down the stairs. And no, I know it sounds like a person, but that's the cat. Come here. This is my cat, Monopoly. Say hi. Say hi. This outfit, I feel is really fancy and in the best way possible. Like, I just feel fancy. This dress is obviously the star of the show. It's like this baby doll tiered royal blue. I feel like this dress is really pretty. It's nice and big and comfortable, so like I could go to a picnic in it and eat a bunch of food and not feel self-conscious. The food baby in some jeans is not a joke. But in a dress, you don't even have to worry about it. And then also these shoes, they're Tommy Hilfiger. Um, my stepmom got them for me a few years ago and I love them so much. They're just these espadrille wedges and they're white, so they work really well for spring and summer. Just a heads up, the last two outfits are a little crooked. Um, that's my bad. I dropped my camera and now it won't attach to my tripod. So I'm using a stack of books on top of my bed. And, you know, it kind of worked, but now it's crooked. So if you hate it, you can click out now. Otherwise, I'm sorry. Okay, this outfit, the pink with the purple and the green and the pink hair. I think it looks good, okay? I do. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I do. I'm wearing the same shoes as before, and then I'm wearing this midi skirt with a slit. This just t-shirt that I thrifted. Um, it's a little big for me, so I put it in a little knot and used a clear elastic to hold it together. It's great for me to being in a dress or a midi skirt that isn't super short, and I want to be in it for a long period of time, and I don't want my thighs to go like this, is to wear biker shorts. And you can't tell that there's biker shorts underneath here, but I definitely, I can tell after walking around for a little while in the heat. I can definitely tell. So, that's my little secret. Don't tell anyone. Though I'm telling the internet, I guess. Not that many people see my videos. It's fine. Anyway, I only have one outfit left, I think. Honestly, I've kind of lost track, so I think I'm at nine. I think this is number nine. If it's not, I'm sorry. I'm aware that looks stupid. I'm not taking it out of the video. This is a close second to my favorite outfit in this whole video. I just, I love all the different colors. I feel like all the colors work because they're all the same level of like tone and intensity. It's just the same t-shirt from before, the same biker shorts. And then this jacket kind of steals the show. This jacket is cooler than me. And I paired it with my little yellow smiley face ring that I got from Hippie Hayes Jewels with my butterfly earrings as well. If you want to buy these earrings, this ring, or anything that style, I'll link them down below. Um, and I also have a code you can use that is 10% off. It's B-O-P-O-10. But anyway, I like this outfit a lot because even though this is super oversized, it kind of hangs straight down so it's not like ballooning like some bomber jackets do, I think because the material is a lot looser and more like a windbreaker. And so I can wear tight clothes underneath it and it looks pretty good. I might add. And then I'm just wearing my burks with it because, you know, this is this is a lounge around the house outfit, but I could also take an Instagram picture. I might. I just might. Wait, that was all the outfits I have. I really hope that was 10 outfits. I don't think it was, but I already started the outro. Comment down below your favorite outfit, and if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.